Beloved by Dave East and Styles P. Dave East and Styles P drop off a surprise joint album, Beloved. Dave East and Styles P say they are huge fans of one another, so it was only right they do something together. How well do the two mesh or contrast each other? Here is our honest review of Beloved by Dave East and Styles P. Beloved. Yeah. From Dave East and Styles P. We didn't know about this project before it came out. Were you looking forward to it once you heard about it? I actually was, because I was just like, it's a weird pairing. Not weird as in like, oh, you know, it's, I don't want it, but I was just like, huh, this is a surprise. Yeah, me too. Just because I like the idea of a new up and coming hot artist is working with like one of the OGs. Right, right, right. Pretty dope. How you feel about this album artwork? Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, at first I immediately thought about David and Goliath and then with the first tracks, Explaining blood, beloved is this now. I was like, okay, it kind of fits, but yeah, I thought it was pretty dope. Yeah, just in case y'all don't know, both of their names are David, so uh, that's why they made sure that you understood that uh, David means beloved. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it's cool. You see, people look like they got kind of like peace signs up, pump fists up, yeah, somebody holding a big giant's head. So, I guess that is David. Uh, I mean, the album artwork is cool. I'm not blown away by it. I, I don't. I wouldn't hang it on my wall or anything like that. It's cool yeah. for what it is. The flow of this project, man. The flow of this album is pretty much exactly what I expected from a Dave East and Styles P project. I expected dope lyrics, mm -hmm. consistent styles of flow and transitioning, some bad beats, and some weak hooks. Okay. And that's pretty much what I got, in mm -hmm. my personal opinion. So that's how the flow of this album works to me. I think the guest appearances actually worked very well on this project, even though I do feel like Tish had a bad hook. It's like Tish, is, Tish Amon is a genius when it comes to right hooks. I know she knows that was a bad hook. It was probably like, it's just probably what they asked for. Yeah. You know, you just give them what they asked for. How you feel about the flow? I feel like it was pretty consistent for what we got, you know? Like you said, I was just expect some bad hooks, but like I didn't know they were going to be like you know that bad. But for the most part, I feel like the rap and picked it back up. You know, it didn't really make me think about the hooks too much. But other than that, I got what I felt. You know, more style, more styles, uh, more styles P. Like I, I kind of felt like when I heard her said Styles P, it was going to go more of the lane of his type of production rather than Davies. So it pretty much got what I expect. Highlights, man. Highlights of this joint. I do like the way the album started. I feel like the beat was a little on the okay side. It sounds cool. I could rock with it, but I'm not blown away. But when it's lit came on, I was like, nah, this should open the album. This joint sounds crazy. It's ridiculous. I love the beat. For All My Niggas was actually pretty dope as well. Don't Cross Me featuring Jazzy. I really like that. Uh, Cut From A Different Cough was another one that I liked. And Load My Gun featuring The Locks was a really bad hook. But the, the verses <laughs> were really good. How about you, Highlights? Yeah, It's Lit was pretty good. Like I said, Love It was just like kind of so-so. But Lit brought it back, like brought it up to par from what I expected from both of them. I like how they was going back and forth and everything like that. Uh, Don't Cross Me was cool. Um, do, do You Know What Time It Is was kind of cool to me. It was kind of a little corny, you know, doing the whole 8 p.m., 9 p.m. thing. But it was kind of cool when they switched into day daytime and uh nighttime and stuff like that but i just like how you know they were given like those quick one hitters like you know they didn't really do that much to say um and was it uh thoughts and models i actually like that song a little bit you know it really wasn't a styles piece song yeah but i thought it fit the avs really well low lights man look low lights for this project are definitely the majority of the hooks yes and some of the production I felt like, I, I mean, I, I knew that was what was going to happen. I'm pretty sure they didn't put like a lot of, you know, huge effort into going to look for multiple different producers. They probably kind of just went in the bag of what they had yeah. at the moment. But uh, it's, it's just that. I didn't really care for Thoughts and Models. Like I said, Load Your Gun is a really bad hook. In the Jungle is a really bad hook. I, I like how Tish sounds. Yeah, but it's just like you know, death will make you hum humble when you're dying. It's just like it's, it's kind of corny, kind of corny hook. And then like, do you know what time it is? Like we we kind of talked about it before. I, I didn't like 
when they did the time periods it wasn't like what they were saying was whack it was just annoying to me like so many people have done it you know 12 a.m on my way to the club like yeah. it's like it's, <laughs> it's been so many people that have done it and they've done it better yeah. so it the beat didn't make it sound dope but like you said when they went into you know morning time night time like when they started changing it up that's when it was actually pretty dope it felt yeah. more original i felt like styles and 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 uh was coming off he was beasting i love the star wars references about yeah. choking people across the room yeah, that was funny. Uh, i feel like styles pushed dave east and brought a, lo- a lot more of the best outside of dave and dave was saying some dope stuff like you know i throw you off a high bridge and a boogie with your girl like i mean it was yeah. it was some dope stuff in there but overall as far as the low lights go the production and the hooks were definitely the low light of this project for me well as far as for me the low lights would have to deal with just a pair of styles p and davies it really wasn't all the overall entertaining pair to me i felt like i not showing favoritism to any artist but i was just rocking with styles p more of the time than Dave East. And even though I do agree with you, it brought a little bit more out of Dave East, I still feel he's like he's just lacking some punch when it comes to his bars and his lyrics and just his cadence. And I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me and my personal opinion, but I just don't feel that punch from Dave East. And it really showed in here like I was feeling more Styles P effort than this on Dave East. Not to say that he did a bad job, but I just didn't really get the the click you know and most of these projects where we have two artists team up and do something you're bound to compare and contrast them like that so i didn't really feel like this was a good duo so to speak final thoughts man look my final thoughts on this and styles p is styles p man he's a legend ghost sp love him one of the best rappers ever uh love the locks just in general dave east it's just something about him that is just not like that entertaining to me the rhymes are dope the bars are dope i'm hearing all of it you know what i'm saying he, he can rap you're fast not going over your head nah i mean he, he he can rap fast like he can do the fire rapping he can rap yeah. slow he can talk about girls he's he can do storytelling yeah like most of the time if you can do all of that you're good but it's just something about like him kind of rapping in the same monotone voice that I just don't find interesting. Like, I don't feel like he has one of these dope rapper voices. Yeah. Like, like Mozzie. Mozzie's got a dope voice. Yeah. So, like, even when he says something that's kind of weak, it sounds better just because he got a voice. Jada Kiss, he's got, like, an unforgettable voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, even for what it's worth, like, even, say, Yo Gotti. Yeah. You know, Ross. Ross has got an amazing voice. DMX. Like, that's part of the reason why he was so big. It was his voice. Ja Rule. Yeah. Like... Mozzie, not Mozzie, but uh, Dave East, he, he's, it's something that he has to find in, for me, yeah. to just to overly enjoy his music. I like when, when we first started reviewing Dave East, I was just like, man, this dude is a straight animal. But after like two, three projects, I was just like, I felt like I heard Everything all Dave East has to offer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. That's, that's just me. My final thoughts are Styles P kind of tried to hold the, the joint above water like with his energy and everything dave east was killing it like verse wise bar wise metaphor wise but i just wasn't entertained by a lot of the things he had to offer on this and and the bad hooks and the, and the beats didn't help yeah you know i just feel like you know as far as as a collaborative project you know we've been getting it like that's becoming a norm now you know you get these duos or group meshing together i just didn't feel like this came off as real strong i mean probably if you're a fan of both artists you're gonna love it you know you might enjoy it a little bit but i mean if you're still a fan of either or it might not mesh with you or with you it didn't mesh well with me i just feel like you know they had some moments where it was like okay this could be really dope but i don't feel like it was really polished well enough or like really really taken advantage of like i feel like they could have went a little bit harder but you know i'm not in the booth with none of these guys so i wouldn't know but that's just my opinion you know i would have thought that it could have been a little bit better but that's my opinion final grades man look i give it a dash straight up a dash and and the reason being is i just don't see myself listening to this a lot even though it's got a couple joints that i like 
which is good. It's got bad hooks, got bad beats. I, I got to kind of have the, the full package if I'm going to continue to listen over and over again. I want the dope beats. Yeah. I want the dope lyrics. I want I want the dope hooks. Like, like I want, like, Dom Trap again. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a dope project. And we just did that, like, last week. Yeah. So, it's like, and it's the same kind of content in a sense, but yeah. he's, he's way better beats. Like, you just got to take time. You can't just throw it out. I get it. We know y'all can rapidity rap with with the top yeah, tier no rap doubt. i mean y'all, y'all technically are top tier when it comes to you know out rapping people yeah. but i just need a little bit more i, I kind of got what i expected but it's always good to be surprised you know what i'm saying and get something a little bit more than what you were expecting yeah i give it a dash you know i feel like it could have been better but i feel like there's potential i mean if they keep working together or something like that they do this again be dope but if not you might like it you might not but it's all right 